What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and something I just want to talk to you about um, in terms of ESBC and the uh, pretty much the massive improvements that have been made over the last month and 11 days we'll just say just over the last month or so now I'm not going to be talking about the new gameplay with the Crawford you know we've seen ups and downs with the gameplay I think that the Crawford gameplay was cool to see I think there was things that could have been done a lot better personally I wouldn't have added all those camera angles because a lot of people have said that they don't care for them they want to see gameplay that's not uncut all the time the weird cuts with the knockdowns things like that i would i would you know the camera angle thing was was the thing that bothered a lot of us and it's just pointless and not a great showcase in terms of how the game is we i think a lot of us would rather see a, a medium to wide angle of just consistent maybe a little bit unedited a little bit edited gameplay highlights instead of just a bunch of camera angles that most of us are probably never going to use however i want to talk about more importantly the improvements they've made of what they're showing us so since the 9th of june if just so since then we have seen um john o'carroll sugar ray robinson's model terence crawford's model terence crawford gameplay ryan garcia announcement and ryan garcia's model now i'm going to be focusing on four of those things now obviously we hadn't heard anything for a while and in the ninth on the 9th of june sorry we got this image of john o'carroll now a lot of us were very honest well all of us were very honest we said there's things here that aren't right the beer looks like it's made of play-doh it looks like it's been been glued on the, the you know the body looks okay the face and the eyes look very lifeless a lot of us weren't really impressed and then there was kind of radio silence after that now we skip to the 5th of july and we got three images of sugar ray robinson i'll put them up on screen as i can fit them and this was a lot better i don't know what the black and white one was doing i like the black and white style i don't get the pure pure midnight black background on him he would have been much better with i don't know a lighter background personally uh then the other two images with him actually having his color and you can actually see his skin color his gloves and everything like that that, that image is far those two images are far far better so we can we always see the improvement between the john o'carroll and the um sugar ray robinson one and then we skip to the 12th of july so just just sorry not three days uh my math can't uh, my Seven days later, I couldn't figure it out in my head then. Seven days later, we got these two images of Terence Crawford and his in-game model. Now, the one where he's... Both of these images look a little bit different. Obviously, you know, the, the one's a bit closer, one's a bit further back. I think the Crawford one looks great. The beard looks great. The skin looks great. Face looks great. Hair looks great. Obviously, Crawford does have very plain shorts in real life. I think that looks like just a very basic font across his shorts. That could be a little bit better, but, you know, none the issue. This compared to the John O'Carroll image is night and day. It is complete. It is unbelievably better. And then I'm going to skip over the Crawford game, like I said. And then we skip to the 17th of July. So five days later, we see three images. I'll put them up on screen as I can of Ryan Garcia. And this model looks absolutely incredible. Now, if we compare just after, just while these these are up on screen, I mean, in a minute, I'm going to compare these to the John O'Carroll one. The reason I've compared them all to the John O'Carroll one is because that was where, in my opinion, the hype for the game and the support for the game hit an all-time low. It was a very lazy put out the John O'Carroll scan uh, I think there was things that definitely could have we've seen it we've seen that that John O'Carroll scan was not where of course one of the developers in the discord did take responsibility and say listen you know I didn't want to we didn't want to rush the art team I wanted to get something out but that's never the way to do it in my opinion that that is clearly not good enough that John O'Carroll scan so that compared to the Ryan Garcia scan again is night and day so I think what's quite comforting and morale boosting for the hype of the game is the fact that they put this sorry they put this john o'carroll image um out uh, and the community wasn't happy of course people will react and go the game is dead but when you just actually just say listen developers you reply to them on twitter they, they do see it in the discord listen this doesn't look great this was clearly rushed the beard doesn't look good the hair doesn't look good you know we don't want to blame the wrong people we just need to say this was not good enough then they put the shuray robinson's like okay a lot better. Crawford one, all right, a lot better. And then the Ryan Garcia one, lovely, a lot better. So I think it's good to see that they are listening to us as a company and as whoever's putting this out, they're listening and we're saying, this wasn't good enough. This needs to be improved. And they're listening. They're not just, you know, putting their head in the sand, ignoring us. They're listening to us and they're saying, you know what, you're right. We're, that wasn't good enough. That's not the standard we've met. Because the thing that people kept saying was, I try to justify it as a bad scan. As well as I said that the beard was awful, the hair didn't look good, the scan was weak. But I said, maybe it's a bad scan. 
But then obviously we had the Roy Jones Jr. model way before that looked tons better. We've seen David Adelaide's model, Joe Frazier's, that all look just brilliant. So this was just, I don't know what you'd call it, rushed, laziness, whatever. Uh, but, you know, it's good to see that. I feel like this was part of their redemption. How often have we ever seen four models? Well, actually, let's just focus on three. From the 5th of July to it's now the 20th. So from the 5th to the 17th, we saw three different fighter models that we have never seen before. Shagray Robinson, Terence Crawford, and Ryan Garcia. We've never got that before. That was 100% their redemption of like, all right, the John O'Carroll one was shit. Whenever we have something that is ready and we are happy to put out at the quality that we have been consistent with, we will put it out and we will show the community. And that's what they've done here. And I'm not expecting in another five days to have another model come out. But at least it, when it's when it's ready, then put it out. But don't rush something to put it out. And the, I think the, the thing that bothered people the most is of all the fighters to rush to put out, why rush John O'Carroll? Let's be honest, 75% of ESBC fans that don't know who John O'Carroll is. Most people didn't even know he was in the game. I saw a lot of comments saying, who is this? So I think that's the problem. If you're going to rush one, rush something that people know and people can maybe nitpick a little bit better. People were just looking at this and like, this looks like shit, move on. And that that was it. Like, But I, th I think I think that the, clearly this Sugar Ray Robinson, Terrence Crawford, Ryan Garcia one is their like redemption of, all right, we rushed the Carroll one. We're sorry. It wasn't the quality that we're used to. Now we're going to do something really fucking sick. And we're going to put these out, put these out, put these out. I mean, I think the Ryan Garcia, his tattoos look fucking incredible. Crawford's model, all, I mean, it is stunning. Sugar Ray Robinson's looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, the little stash that he's that they've got on him and everything. Like, it just looks, it's just perfect. Ryan Garcia is, 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 is brilliant. The hair that I thought they may struggle with is, is awesome. Of course, I know people said, like, he's never wore Adam's gloves. But they're not going to get every brand in. I mean, I think he had... Um, Dior, Dior, I think he had Dior on his shorts or something. They're not going to get that company in the game. So people need to accept that sometimes fighters are just going to have different gloves that they may or may not have. I know obviously he wears Grant and they do have Grant, but they of course, you know, maybe didn't have the Grant that they needed to put out this model around his fight time. But I'm glad they didn't rush it to get it out. I'm glad they worked on it and they, and then, then here it is. It looks good, and that's what I'm happy with. So it's good to see that they listen to us. I just want to talk about it, hear your guys' thoughts. You know, does this, does these few scans and the new Crawford gameplay um, fool you of a bit more, a bit more hype? Bit you know, put put that morale up a little bit more because the John O'Carroll one was definitely probably the lowest I've seen in the community in terms of morale and hype. Everyone was like, and that's the thing. It really is a coin flip. Like every day they put something as a coin flip. Is the community gonna love it, hate it? And if you put something at a lower quality, it's not even worth flipping the coin. You might as well just know they're gonna hate it. So. Like I said, the Crawford gameplay was good to see. I think a lot of people, after a few watches, like the original hype dies down, and then you watch it with a with a more unbiased eye, and then you start to see things, you know, like, like I said, like, I wouldn't have put all them camera angles in, I wouldn't have put the cuts in after the more unique Kelbrook knockdown, things like that, but that's just me. Um, it's good to see that they're putting more out, you know, like I said, from the 5th of July, we've had uh, Shiro Robinson, Crawford model, Crawford gameplay, Ryan Garcia announcement, Ryan Garcia model, so I feel like this was their redemption for the John O'Carroll model, I could be wrong, it could just be the way things work, but I, f I feel like a lot of us are now like, you know what, they're clearly hit a certain level of quality, and they're making sure they stay at that consistently, which is awesome. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think? You know, does it look like? You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to say the game's getting closer. Oh, because these are just fighter models. These are just what they look like. But I just think it's it's, it's filling a you know it's filling us with a lot lot more hope, a lot more hype, and um yeah, it's definitely it's definitely good to see that they're they're not, they're not going to start up and down and with the quality of shit they post, especially when it comes to fighter models. Those things need to be perfect. They just do. Um, of course, they will look slightly different in game. They just will, um, as every company that does this. You know, Undisputed 2010 was one of the the key ones that they put out like these incredible fighter models, and they look nothing like it in game. Um, whereas, you know, the I suppose you could show this screenshot. I'll show this screenshot of the Crawford gutty gameplay, and you can see that that's definitely still the Crawford model. Uh, it's just different lighting from what we've seen from the render. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop waffling. Uh, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.